and scissors making. Kindly wait. Kindly wait. This is a summer. Actually, in fact, I had been to my hometown for repair of my home. There was a lot of problem of leakages and seepages, and uh, coloring problem was there. So I went there and done the water bottle because there was a just health problem, aesthetic problem, and eventually the economical loss. So same is the case in bamboo. We all are bamboo lovers, and we know bamboo. Since the ancient time, we are using bamboo in construction, in our daily use items, in furniture, and everywhere. So we will share our knowledge regarding bamboo preservation technique. Mainly emphasizing on bamboo treatment for construction use. Uh, screen share, please. Just one second. Kindly wait, sir. It's getting loaded. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me properly? Yes, sir. I can hear you. I guess we can just can hear you. Can you see the slide, sir? Yeah, yeah. Please go ahead, sir. Yeah. Okay, so just a minute. Uh, I'm trying to okay, next please. There is a worm bent like a bamboo, but don't break. Bamboo bent, but don't break. So, because the electricity of the bamboo is very high, not only the elasticity, but comprehensive strength of bamboo is very high than steel, wood, and concrete also. Also, the tensile strength of the bamboo. Is very high. Uh, for just as an instance, bamboo tensile strength is around twenty-eight thousand megapixel pascals, and steel is twenty-three thousand megapascal. So bamboo have very good properties in comparison with wood, steel, concrete, and other materials. Please next. So we have seen bamboo have higher comprehensive strength than wood, brick, and concrete. Bamboo is used in construction, paneling, flooring, tiles, and in many applications. One of the most important thing of bamboo is it is earthquake resistance. For an instance, there was an earthquake in Costa Rica that was 7.6 Richter scale, and uh, in 2011, it was in uh, Sikkim, 6.9. It was observed that other structures were damaged, but that there was not at all much effect on bamboo structure. So we can definitely say that bamboo is earthquake resistant. Bamboo construction is earthquake resistant. Bamboo is 
strong, durable, and one of the most important thing is that is economical. It is lightweight also. We can see here one uh, bamboo construction. Next, please. Below in the image, one can see it is a bamboo. Uh, one model where bamboo is given a bending shape. So bamboo, we can give various structural shape to bamboo. Bamboo can split, curve, and bamboo can bend. There are so many. Uses of bamboo also. Bamboo is containing silica and water, and that's why, up to some what extent, up to some extent, it is fire retardant. Bamboo is light in weight, so it is for construction. There is not much more load on bamboo. Next, please. So we have seen why bamboo is ideal material for construction and structural use. But now, what about the durability? Bamboo natural durability is very low. The durability depends on age, time of cutting, time of season, type of use. And other factors. Generally, untreated bamboo last for three to four years to maximum five years. Bamboo is containing starch. Bamboo is having higher moisture. Starch is and cellulose is good food for microorganism. Such as beetles, borers, termites, and various types of fungi. We have seen starch is a good for good food for organism. As other some food uh, species, bamboo do not contain any toxic chemicals. So it is for bamboo. It say only it is difficult to keep away these microorganisms such as borers and insects and termites and fungi. In bamboo, due to fungi degradation, it happens. We can see one here in the right corner. At the top, bamboo is shown there, which is affected by white rot. So, what happens when there is rot? Decay fungi affects pulping it, pulping it, loss of fiber matrix, loss of dimensional stability, and loss of strength. Next, please. In the images, left side is bamboo, which is affected due to borers creating little pinholes, and right side is mold, or you can say fungi, or you can say rot. Fungal attack increases pulping cost. Loss of strength, chipping loss, and digester capacity. Hence, it is very much necessary. It is must to protect bamboo from these organism and environmental effects. Next, please. First thing must be noted. Whatever treatment you do, bamboo must be 
totally matured. So you have to cut bamboo after three to four years. If you cut the bamboo before three years, it will not sustain for environmental and organism attacks. So some good practices are there. Just just uh, like that, cut the bamboo during dry season. When sugar and starch is low in bamboo, moisture is low in bamboo. In the dry season, moisture, sugar and starch is low in bamboo. So it is the ideal time to cut the bamboo. Only mature bamboo about three to four year should be used. Should be cut. Please do not cut bamboo before three years. It will not serve your construction or structural purpose. Cut bamboo at the right height, say around ten to fifteen centimeters from ground. Cut above the node. Avoid direct contact with soil and moisture. Remove infected culm. See, there is some uh, infected culm. You have to remove them. And don't mix it with good bamboo poles, please. Okay, you have got the bamboo, and you want it to store it. Mainly, there are two types of bamboo storage. One is vertical stacking, and another is horizontal stacking. Vertical stacking is recommended for application other than pulping. Vertical stacking helps quick drying and less chances of fungal attack. Store the cone in an upright position against the wall. Horizontal stacking you can make the racks and store bamboo in that. Take the care of weight that bottom side bamboo should not crack or bend due to weight of other bamboo. Keep away from soil and soil and ground contact and moisture. Next, please. If you are storing bamboo for more period, and if the transportation is taking uh, more days or long time, you have to uh, treat for temporary treatment. Now see the bamboo in a mix. Which are the bamboo in a mix? One of the major is moisture. Generally, green bamboo contains hundred and fifty percent moisture. So, for construction purpose and structural purpose, twenty to twenty five percent is was ideal moisture. So, dry bamboo is very much necessary. Another is beetles or borers. There are, are many types of borers. Just as like uh, say. Carpenter ants, bottle-tailed borers, termites are there. Then some are here. White rot is there. Thin rot is there. Brown rot is there. So we have to take these enemy out from bamboo, which can harm our bamboo. Next, please. So we have seen fungal attack increases pulping cost, loss of strength, aesthetic appearance, moisture decreases, dimensional stability of the bamboo, and strength. So bamboo mainly due to these factors, economical loss happens, and we have to avoid aesthetical loss. As well as economical loss also. Next, please.
what happens due to bamboo preservation we are avoiding the situation already we have stated that it lengthens the service life of bamboo maintains quality of the bamboo maintains dimensional stability and strength of the bamboo improves the safety of bamboo structures when bamboo is used in structural purpose promote the greater acceptance of bamboo among consumers and industry wood is rare wood is very precious and bamboo is one of the best wood alternative it promotes the sustainable use of wood alternative promote the sustainable management and development of bamboo resources promote the development of local bamboo sector and eventually most suitable reason economical profit next please so we want to protect the bamboo we want to preserve the bamboo so there are so many methods from traditional soaking method to latest vacuum pressure impregnation methods but uh, some methods requires costly machinery some skilled technician and it is not possible that specifically in rural area everybody is having that or everybody can afford it so from traditional methods to latest vacuum pressure method traditional methods are steeping steeping method is done on site only means where you cut the bamboo so freshly cut bamboo with leaves and branches are immediately placed upright in container immerse basan in up to 25 mm basanel means uh, the last point of the bamboo the bottom so it should be immersed in concentrate solution of preservative say around 10% solution we have to top up the chemical as it is consumed this process works on capillary action and generally the time required for this process depends on length of the bamboo for uh, say around 2 meter bamboo it takes around 7 to 14 days means 1 to 2 week next please sap displacement process we can say it is just as like steeping process but it can be done off site means uh, steeping process you have to carry for green bamboo only but uh, you can uh, by sap displacement process you can treat round bamboo half bamboo quarter bamboo or split bamboo also immerse bamboo vertically up to 25 mm in container which is filled with preservative this again work on capillary action you have to preserve the uh, maintain the preservation level and uh, time uh, is required around 6 to 10 days for 2 meter bamboo 
tipping and self displaced uh, self displacement method you have to take one uh, almost here to dispose the chemical at right place so there should not be any environmental pollution and environmental problem next please next please there is the one another method we must have observed specifically in rural areas there are homes and they were using this uh, tulas tulas means uh, the fire play which is using wood as a power or you can say as a inner so in this uh, bamboo smoking process Sri uh, Sunilji Deshpande of Melga in Maharashtra had done a bamboo smoking chamber successfully. It is a very simple process. Bamboo are placed in room above fireplace, keeping some distance. So bamboo is exposed to heat and smoke. Keep it for several weeks, or as per the Time required. Smoke, we you know smoke having a toxic agent. What happens due to heat? The starch is removed from bamboo, and heat and smoke make bamboo immune to attacks of organisms and insect. Bamboo is black with nice texture due to bamboo smoking and black and touch gives a good texture good texture to bamboo so this is the very simple process of bamboo smoking specifically for rural area next please then uh, there are some many traditional processes that as like smoking lime wash etc one more process is there dipping process which is still in uh, today still in used in a large scale so we will include it in chemical preservation so in chemical preservation there are mainly two types of preservatives one is solvent bond preservatives another is water bond preservatives solvent bond preservatives are pure soap then copper naphthenate is there zinc naphthenate is there water bond preservatives they are copper chrome arsenate CCA in many countries CCA has been banned and uh, its place has been taken by CCB that is copper chrome borate. Then ACQ is there ammonical copper quaternary. This is the next generation wood or bamboo preservative which do not contain chromium or arsenic. Which is supposed to be carcinogenic. It is based on copper and ammonium quaternary compound. Then copper naphthenate is there, water bond, glycol, and boric base as there. We know boric acid and boric solution is there. Then uh, some wood stabilizer can be used. for preventing cracking and warping of bamboo next please
chemical method what is there hot and cold bath bamboo is deep in tank chemical preservation is preservative is there preservative is heated up to 90 degree the temperature is maintained for some time and allowed to cool what happens due to heating the cells expand and lose moisture which is have a which is present in bamboo and cooling causes contraction and preservation gets absorbed in the bamboo this method allows large quantities of bamboo to be treated in a very short period of time generally heating process depends around 4 hours next please we can say this is a traditional vacuum pressure in vacuum pressure vacuum is applied and pressure is applied here also this is done by heating process next please boucherie process this is widely used in bamboo treatment there are two types of boucherie one is traditional boucherie process another is modified boucherie process it should it is suitable for freshly fed green bamboo with branches and leaves intact even one day bamboo can be treated preservative is pushed to the bamboo by gravity from a container which is placed at a height this method has been modified what happened due to gravity pressure is there and due to the pressure preservative is impregnated to bamboo this method is modified and is called as a modified boucherie process in modified boucherie process pressure is given by pressure pump you can use a uh, very simple pressure pump or compressor also the penetration and absorption of the preservative depend upon several factors age dimension wall thickness etc the time required the time required for this process is 30 to 60 minute for 2 meter long bam next week this is boucherie modified boucherie process solution regulator is there pressure regulator pressure gauge solution outlet solution input and pressure input so we can say this is pressure method or a pressure method on a small scale it is ideal for rural areas also as it doesn't require uh, high cost machinery and very much skill worker next please if you want it to treat bamboo on a large scale and you want it full penetration of preservative in bamboo one has to use vacuum pressure treatment or vacuum pressure impregnation this is a tank of vacuum pressure impregnation unit next please what is vacuum pressure treatment there is a vessel one has to load bamboo in that vessel then initial vacuum 
apply and bamboo says that you have to it of here so that to be said then preservative solution is flooded under vacuum with bamboo preservative and chemical then hydraulic pressure is applied forcing the preservative d into the structure of the bamboo me first you will evacuate the air from bamboo cells and then pressure preservative in bamboo cells and final vacuum extracts preservative solution which is pumped back to store storage low pressure inside bamboo draws the surface solution when vented to atmosphere treated bamboo is left to dry wash the bamboo let's see the video of vacuum pressure impregnation next week सर ये वीडियो रन नहीं हो रहा है सर डू यू हैव अ वीडियो हियर Yes, sir. Do you know where is the control play control? It's a little bit uh, actually playing. It just me. Do you know where is the play control button here? It's in presentation mode. You will have a play button somewhere. Yes, it is not. A... You don't remember. Okay. so um, probably we can share this video later yeah you know, i will definitely share the video later we can okay. move. shall we move to the next slide sir yeah thank you so there are mainly two types of bamboo preservative we have seen that solvent bond preservative is not there and water bond preservative is not there again there are two sub types fixing preservative and non fixing preservative fixing preservatives are not reachable in soil and water whereas non fixing preservatives are reachable in soil and water then there are some coating paint and varnishes decking oils non fixing preservative are not suitable for exterior purpose as they are leachable in water and soil next please so some of the generally all solvent bond preservatives are fixing type let us see boric acid acid borax it is non fixing copper chrome borate ccb is fixing type ammonical copper quaternary acq is fixing type zinc borate quaternary compound non fixing type copper sulfate non fixing type sodium silicate non fixing type lithium silicate non fixing type pentachloride pene it has been banned copper chrome arsenic is also banned in india copper azole it is mainly used in uh, wood preservation but uh, i am not uh, well aware of bamboo next please there are some cases If the bamboo is 
treated then there can be some mold on bamboo which happen due to moisture in the air or in the container also as called as container fitting and for aesthetic appearance also one can coat bamboo with with its oils and paints and etc some of them are liquid oil cnsl is there cnsl means cashew nut cell liquid walnut oil is there tang oil is there you can paint bamboo lacquers are there wax can be applied but uh, with this uh, coating there is mainly problem of drying problem oils are not going to dry for uh, several months and uh, there must not be any peeling problem so nowadays decking oil is used as coating for bamboo as it is containing water repellent some fungicide and uv stabilizer also to prevent aging and graying effect and keep the aesthetic appearance next please we have seen there are two types of preservative for on bottom and water bottle again two sub type fixing preservative and non fixing preservative but while choosing right preservative we have to consider some aspects such as base whether it is solvent base or whether it is water base how much effective is that whether it is carcinogenic or not carcinogenic carcinogenic means uh, it help to generate cancer it, that chemical is called as carcinogenic toxicity if it is toxic toxic to uh, mammals if it is broad spectrum there are some fungi which are boron is also consider that one of the fungicide copper is also consider as fungicide but there are some fungi which are copper tolerant also so we have to see whether it is broad spectrum or not it should be eco friendly it should not be marine pollutant should not be aquatic poisonous it should remain for long term in bamboo that is called as the fixation in bamboo it should penetrate in bamboo penetration capacity must be more it should not leach in water leaching in soil it should not uh, it should be economical also next please since a long time bamboo dipping process is used for treating bamboo it is exactly like the same dipping dipping means dipping 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 is exactly so bamboo panel or pieces is dipped into a treatment bath and fully the dip tank can contain water based or solvent based preservative Help to protect the bamboo from rot and insect attack. This process is quicker and less expensive to carry out, making it a popular method in bamboo sector. One has to ensure proper moisture content in bamboo. Here, dipping treatment is explained. Deep in chemical bamboo absorbs chemical. Remove from tank 
and let it dry. Next, please. This is modified butcher process. Four pipes are used, and pressure is given. Next, these are some bamboo structure, bamboo house. Next, please. Uh, this is the structure, bamboo structure, uh, made by Mr. Parmeshwara Nayya from Bangalore. Next, please. This is also bamboo structure. Next. Uh, it is uh, made around 18 uh, These types of structures are made in uh, rural area by Bamboo Paste Pune, Mr. Ashok Sarkuti. Next, please. Uh, this is again one structure by Bamboo Picker, Bengalaru. Next. Uh, there was a, a great uh, Bamboo Festival and exhibition in Pune in February 2020. The entrance gate at Pune Bamboo Festival in 2020. It was a very great event by Bamboo Society of India, Maharashtra chapter. Next, please. Thank you. Thanks to all. We have time for a couple of questions. If anyone wishes to ask a question to Sri Kirkul Desan, please raise your hand. Uh, I think there is one Mr. Yogesh. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Is there any particular treatment for fire resistance? In fact, borax treatment, borax itself is a fire retardant. But it is a, not completely fire retardant to class 1 or class 2. There are some manufacturers which are uh, based on uh, amines. We have to uh, search on uh, web for amine-based fire retardant. There's another question from Mr. Venkatesh. Yeah. Any tissue cultured bamboo species which can resistance, uh, which is resistant to pest and disease? Uh, pardon me, please. Any tissue culture? Bamboo species, which is resistant to pest and diseases. Uh, no, sir. Uh, it is not my field. Okay. Yeah, I am a chemical person. Fine. One more question, sir. Uh, do we have any organic preservatives? Yeah, organic preservatives are there. Uh, say, just as like... Uh, some preservatives uh, in uh, specifically wood, orange uh, juice, means uh, uh, orange juice means uh, not actually orange juice. Uh, orange uh, cell uh, oil is called as a fungicide. There are some uh, then uh, oils. Uh, uh, LOSP or some, uh, there are many, but uh, they are not yet proven for bamboo. Some are using for small scale in wood, but uh, I have not uh, seen uh, on large scale bamboo treatment. Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. So we have a question from Mr. Paramesh Vanaya. Yeah. I'm allowing you to ask the question, sir. Yeah. Uh, which is best method? Okay. Hello? Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Yeah. 
uh, every method is uh, good as per the condition. Every method is good. Quantity on a large scale with time span. Then I will uh, recommend uh, VPI, vacuum pressure treatment, small scale, and where uh, necessary equipment available. Then you can go for dipping process also, dipping process also. Every treatment is good one as per your requirements of funds. Okay, Mr. Mr. Ayer, please go ahead. Uh, can you hear me, sir? Yeah. Can you hear me? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Very good morning. Yeah. Sir, uh, I seen actually uh, one small disagreement with one of the slide and I have some other questions also. Okay. One is actually, uh, the one is about the vertical stacking. The vertical stacking normally what happens is after the treatment, bamboo actually contains more moisture, the vertical stacking resulting crack immediately because of the fast uh, moisture, um, uh, moisture actually uh, vapor evaporation, because of that it will result cracking even the solid bamboo stock say, because I, when I treated very first 500, 500 solid bamboo. Which preservative we have tried? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Another thing is, uh, I want to know something about, uh, uh, it's a very interesting thing that uh, you said something about the stabilizer to prevent cracking. Correct, correct. Can you elaborate on that uh, that particular one? It's a new uh, new new subject and it's a very interesting thing also because we all are, all the bamboo industry people are facing this cracking issue. Yeah. Uh, in India or uh, globally, the uh, stabilizer for bamboo, it is not uh, means a very traditional method. It is used for uh, wood, but on a very small scale. Specifically, see for rifle birds or uh, pistol birds, and means uh, which are uh, you can say wood hobbies because it is a very costly affair. One liter of wood stabilizer or bamboo stabilizer costs around uh, say thousand six thousand rupees per liter. Okay, but the principle behind the bamboo stabilizer or wood stabilizer is that uh, cracking is due to moisture gaining or moisture loss. Stabilizer locks the moisture. When the moisture goes out. Bamboo or wood becomes dry and then it cracks. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. I can. Yeah. And, uh, sir, the Sir, the final question is actually regarding the boshery process. The boshery process actually initially when we started the venture also, we were very much attracted to this boshery process method. Okay. But later we realized that boshery, boshery method is not actually practical. That's why it's not widely adopted because boshery method uh, uh, is possible only if you are cutting the bamboo and immediately if you are doing the treatment. For us, actually, we always get so on-track material. So the thing is, when the material comes here, the moisture will be very low. So uh, for industry purpose, I don't think boshery is not a good option. See, everywhere, in case of bamboo or in case of uh, wood, moisture content, moisture control is uh, very much uh, uh, most important thing. All of the problems are due to moisture content. Or moisture attracts uh, fungi. Moisture attracts and sugar attracts, starch attracts insects. So it uh, should be which uh, treatment to adopt. It is as per the very friendly uh, site to site conditions and as per the geographical area. Okay, I think uh, we will uh, stop the Q&A with this. Yeah, somebody has uh, asked that question about ACQ. 
Yes, sir. Please go ahead. What are the question actually? There's a question on ACQ. Uh, yeah. Is ACQ is also fire retardant? Uh, no. ACQ is not fire retardant. Okay, so with this, uh, we will uh, stop the Q&A. Thank you, Sri Krishna, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your time. On behalf of everyone at BSI, I would like to thank you for your precious you. time and uh, sharing the knowledge to all of us. Thank you once again, sir. Thanks to everybody. And uh, if you have any further questions, please uh, send an email to Bamboo Society of India at gmail.com.